Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, we're touching on this again. We have the staff pre-release promos that never happened, that kind of happened, that are kind of popping up here. For anyone that hasn't been keeping up or hasn't seen my previous video on CGC grading stolen staff promos, I'm going to go ahead and hit, there's probably without a shadow of a doubt that these are stolen. These are backdoored in some official way. Still don't have the complete details on that. Conveniently, people don't want to share that information. I, I don't really blame them. I mean, I wouldn't want to either if I was thieving. But um, here it is. Uh, above the video, the CGC video. We'll put it above there uh, and down below in the description. We've got a brief summary here for anyone that doesn't feel like watching that or, or already has. Pokemon stopped giving out staff pre-release promos after Vivid Voltage. They resumed doing so with Silver Tempest when that came out in recent times. Everything in between has never been released, and there is nothing proving that they are, or that they were, at any point. I think that's very important here. Large reason for this video is that we have a very lazy, very irresponsible video from PTCG Radio, and you're going to ask me, why is it irresponsible? He's creating fake credibility to these staff stamp cards, uh, which are more than likely stolen, in my opinion. They have no proven origin whatsoever, uh, and that can be seen in, in his video as well. Uh, we had the Pokemon company who has even stated that there was no official way to obtain these cards. Nothing has been said since then about them coming out in any way whatsoever. PSA doesn't grade them. Uh, which is definitely saying something. They would want to grade them if there was an official release of any kind whatsoever. If they're turning down money, there's a reason for it. When they reach out, when PSA reaches out to Pokemon, and Pokemon says, no, you can't get these cards, they don't grade them. Good on them. I mean, kind of another shady action by CGC for them just grading anything and everything, uh, whether it's stolen, whether they know it's stolen or not. Still grading that crap. Uh, and then I guess in this case, maybe they can play dumb and say that maybe it wasn't stolen. Uh, but at the same time, I think it, they need to err on the side of caution with that stuff. So we have radio here who tells us this is a, a weird story, which is completely true, which is maybe the an interesting way to, to word it nonetheless. But throughout the whole video, clearly hasn't done enough research and shows no receipts of the actual origin of these of these cards. He's claiming that five cents have been sent out by the Pokemon company. I'm claiming full bull on that. Um, he goes as far as claiming that they are 100% real and sent out to stores. Apparently, the, the images came from uh, Alpha T TCG. So we're going to take a look at them. I don't know how they're a source on this exactly. Uh, he doesn't really go into detail on that, but uh, maybe there's something I'm missing here. We're going to take a look at uh, Alpha T TCG. It's, man, that's hard to say. Uh, as well as a couple other examples of where these are popping up. It's happened to all be in the UK for some stupid reason. It's weird that uh, that it's a special, special <laughs> little exception there that they all seem to be stemming from the, from the same place. Uh, and and yet, dead, we, got, we got crickets from the Pokemon company on any of these releases. All of them happened, all of it, you know, all, all happen in the same area. Definitely not the same person that just has a bunch of them that's kind of leaking them out to different people. So, how, how, I would like to ask you guys, you, you guys please let me know, how in the world are we expected to think that these cards were given out by official means, and, and, you know, the only people claiming that they were obtained legitimately, seemingly, are not game stores, which is where they should have been given out to, not uh, willing to be affiliated with game stores, apparently, or actual game stores, as we'll see. Uh, they can't give us details, or they just straight up refuse to give us the origin story of the cards, where they came from, who they got them from, uh, and just happen to have that buttload, that absolute full buttload, run into the run into the bathroom already pulling your pants down so you don't poop your pants amount of vested interest because they own copies of the cards themselves. So shout out to, to Ban Apple from the Discord, who really, really wants these to be released in some way and not stolen. I got I get bad news for you guys. Unless we see some actual evidence here, unless we see an actual statement from the Pokemon company or play Pokemon about these, they didn't happen. And no matter it doesn't matter how many PTCG radio videos he does on speculating about some crap that he doesn't know about. Maybe I it doesn't it, guys, please, please use some common sense here. People that are making TikToks and crap about leaks and everything else 
do a little bit of research beforehand. Like it, it doesn't matter if radio goes on and tells you about a card that's not playable and tries to tell you that it is playable for 12 minutes. But when, when, when he's going on lending credibility to what are probably almost certainly stolen items, that's too far. That's irresponsible. That's dumb. You look dumb. But I, prove me wrong. I'd love to. I'd love to see some sort of actual official means, any official statement by Pokemon, any game stores that have an actual reputation that want to step up and say, "Yeah, we did get sent these by the Pokemon Company. Here's the proof, start to finish." It's not going to happen. It hasn't happened. There's no reason for it. It makes no sense. Would, would there not be game stores? These would be all over the place, not just being sold by select individuals that are all from the same location. Or people that got them from that person and then don't want to link it back to the, the same people in the UK. Same thing with the Chilling Rain ones, I guess, that we'll discuss. But, so, uh, Radio in the video is saying, uh, maybe he misspoke, maybe he just didn't, also didn't do research on it. But uh, he's saying that in his video that there are five sets that are now being released officially. Silver Tempest was uh, already of officially released uh, for anyone that's paying attention. Uh, so clearly he couldn't be bothered to even get that correct. Uh, you would think that that would be something that you, you would look up. Silver Tempest was an actual release. I don't know why it's included with the other stacks of staff promos here. I have no idea. Not sure why the, the person that owns these cards, uh, maybe they think that they're more valuable than they are, but I got bad news for them because those were actually released. That's when they came back. There was an official statement about how they came back. Weird how there was an official statement about those, but not these other sets that are conveniently being sent out. So we're missing three, uh, which also does not add up. If Pokemon was sending these out to make the staff staff stamp promos complete uh, to help out the staff that didn't get these for a certain amount of time, why would certain sets be missing? We got battle styles. We got Chilling Rain uh, with, you know, we had the Cinderace that popped up from Chilling Rain conveniently also uh, I think I think all of those had UK origins as well. So are we seeing a trend here? Are we seeing the trend that they're, they're probably just all coming from the UK and that whoever got a hold of these um, happened to have those ones as well? Maybe they're, I don't know what they're doing exactly, that they're slow leaking these out. Um, maybe trying to cover their tracks a little bit. So um, Battle Styles Chilling Rain with the, the Cinder Ace. Um, Almost certainly backdoored as well. Again, we have no... Or the, this is all the the easiest stuff to possibly prove that you obtained in a legitimate matter, manner. rather, And none of them can do it. No one can do it. I haven't seen it. I've talked to people that own the cards. None of them want to give me the full story. And we're going to go through that the full painstaking details of that in this video. But I think it's important. Um, and I think people need to stop. Just like if you have a platform in any way... Stop making videos. Stop making stupid TikToks where you're saying that leaks are real, uh, that certain stuff is real, that it's obtained. These these promos, as a master set collector, until these are released in an official way, these are dead to me. I don't care. They're not they're not real cards. Uh, if they weren't obtainable in a legitimate way, they don't count. It's the same with the special delivery Charizard before that had an official release. If it's stolen, it doesn't count. No one should be encouraging this stuff because someone just someone potentially has ruined their life over this. Do you know how much trouble someone's going to get in if they stole this stuff from the factory? If they stole it from whatever line where they're being stamped? They're in a lot of trouble. And that's the kind of that's the point that it, I, I try to enforce. Well, with all of this stolen stuff, whether it's early sets, the early sets are even worse. You're going to ruin your life over making maybe a couple thousand bucks. Uh, you lose your job, criminal record, congratulations, and you got to clench your butt cheeks and hope that the Pokemon company doesn't sue you to oblivion for stealing from work, for releasing things before they were supposed to be released. That's that's what it comes down to. I know it's a weird lesson that needs to be learned over and over again, uh, but we're going to keep making videos on it uh, for that reason. Yes, stuff does get out early. Stuff does get out accidentally, but there's proof. There's always proof. If stuff's released, like we saw with the Target stuff, if stuff is released early, people are there flipping their phone right out of their pocket, whether it's a flip phone or not, and they are taking those terrible pictures of the stuff on the shelf. They're taking pictures of the receipts because they're excited that other people are going to be excited. They're going to get all kinds of likes. They're going to get social media jerk-offs all day, all night, 
if they post that kind of stuff. So it's it's going to happen. Same thing with this. This should be even easier. If you're a game store that's receiving these, you're going to make posts about it. Not to mention the fact that Pokemon is probably going to be like, hey, sorry guys, you didn't have staff promos during the old Kovi Wovi, but here they are. We're going to be giving them out. Make sure they go to the people that were running the events or that are running the events or that were running the events, whatever the case may be. There's still going to be all kinds of sketchy stuff where you have staff that keep these, not staff, you have shop owners that keep these instead of giving them out. Maybe they get too many because they pretend that they have more staff than they have. There's all kinds of sketchy crap like that, which sucks. They should be going to the, the people that are actually running the events. But again, that's uh, the, some stuff that we can take a look at. I think it's stuff that they need to uh, maybe be a little bit more hands-on, eyes-on, whatever they need to be in order to make sure that the, the proper people are being compensated for this. I know we had the game store that was like claiming like, oh, don't worry, they're compensated. Like, well, what? That's the compensation. That's what they're supposed to be getting. Why are they not getting this? If you want to do anything above and beyond, you're welcome to do that on top of the staff promos. Um, but also, yeah, the game stores are not supposed to be selling them anyway. They can get in trouble for that. But regardless, we're off We're off on a tangent here. Uh, I do want to say that I, I believe that the cards are real. The stamps are probably also real. Uh, the inserts are probably real. Uh, but I, I think there is no chance that these are sent out by Pokemon. Everything indicates Mac door Steelerinos, um, and we're going to take a look at examples here. So we have the Alpha T TCG, uh, which is referenced by radio in the video. Uh, and again, I don't understand exactly how you think that maybe these people are, maybe they own the cards. They sent you pictures of the cards, and then you're just going to run with whatever story they told you. We're going to take a look at a story that I didn't run because the person didn't want to actually discuss the origin of the cards, where they came from. They just wanted to show off how cool the cards were. The cards are not cool, especially if they're stolen. That's not cool. That No one should be excited about that. I get it. We've seen the pictures. And also, they're just the same cards with the staff stamp on them. Is it a thing that they exist? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't know, how the hell, how do I make a video saying, well, I mean, I guess radio did. How do I make a video saying that, like, these are cool? Look at these, they came out. But they didn't. No, they're sketchy. No one should be touching these. All right, and then we have, like, so we're our source is here. And again, I don't want to, like, crap on anyone for not having a following or a big account or uh, a big eBay account. But we're, I think it's important in this matter that our sources... For the information, not only are providing no receipts, um, whether Radio received receipts and just didn't show them in his video, I kind of find that hard to believe. He's got a slideshow going at all points, so you would think that like if there was some kind of letter or something to come with it, he would have shown that. There's no reason he wouldn't have. I don't think the Pokemon Company cares if you show that. Like, hey, here's some some stuff for your staff. So we got 118 followers on on Twitter. Unless it's a different Alpha TTCG, um, this is the only one that I could find. But um, I, I don't I don't get it. So, like 479 followers on there. We're gonna take a look at the eBay listings. These have been up forever, so this it's not like a oh wow these are getting sent out now. They're, they're, they're totally legit. They're totally legit, guys. All right, we gonna open this bad boy up. Open this bad boy up. He says. All right, gotta make sure we can see uh, the screen. I don't want anyone to. Uh, Never know when this stuff is going to disappear either. So good to good to have it on there. Uh, we have uh, if we if we type in staff evolving skies pre pre release promo set, uh, we get these uh, this bad boy here. We get some stuff popping up, uh, and yes, weird. All the, like we got UK based for some reason. The UK, even though they never get anything first, they somehow got these pre release staff promos first. We've never seen anything stateside unless it was sold from over there, uh, and the the eBay account that is selling them. Uh, it has 200 feedback. 200 feedback. So I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, this is not a real game store. Whether or not they want to claim that they're a game store, different story. Um, but uh, we have business seller information here that we can take a look at. It's not an actual business. There's no brick and mortar whatsoever. Again, these to get these, you have to be running actual events. Um, so like the fact that you don't have a game store, a physical location, or you don't advertise it, which would make no sense. Um, you, you, you got a business address that's in an apartment building. Uh, and then you, you, you have barely anything posted on Instagram. 
like that the 189 followers on Instagram. That doesn't scream game store to me. That doesn't sound like somebody. And then like what we just have some crown zenith posted. So this is this is the the kind of thing that you're looking at here. It's not real. It, there's no way. I would be I would be astonished if, if the Pokemon company if there was any legitimacy. And again, this is long before the new claims that the the, the Pokemon company is sending them out which also have no evidence. We have someone who joined the Discord recently. This person would like to talk to me, wanted to make the video that I was mentioning about, uh, that I had mentioned, um, where he, apparently he got these cards. They're legitimate, but trust me, bro. Trust me. Just trust me that they're legitimate. He doesn't want to show or tell where he got them because he doesn't want to have it lead back to uh, the, the person he got them from. The store that he got from, them from, I don't, we're going to read through all the messages. We have Ben Strong who says, Hello everyone, long time YouTube subscriber here and Rattle fan. That's very nice of you. Um, you can never tell. Sometimes people say they're a Rattle fan um, and they're, they're not really a Rattle fan. Um, I find it hard to believe that it, that you are, but, may, but maybe. I mean, I do get uh, a lot of compliments from the, uh, the, the scammers, the people that are trying to pull one over uh, prior to, but... You never know. Maybe Ben is just misguided here, and he's not trying to deceive everyone and add credibility to his... Uh, he might have sent this out to everyone, uh, or other creators as well. But he says, I am not active in Discord, but realize this is the best place for my message to get seen. I've been searching to find information on staff stamp pre-release promos, as I have a set from Evolving Skies and other Sword and Shield sets. Be weird that you didn't just like list which sets you have, because there's not that many. People are messaging me saying these cards should not have been released. They shouldn't have, but they were officially released very recently in the UK. Cool. Show us how. Show us why. Show us... Spoiler, he's not going to. I'm curious if Rattle would want to do a video on these cards and would be happy to do a Zoom or Google meeting to discuss. I don't know. I did a couple Zoom calls with PK. That Those days are over. Zoom sucks. It auto-adjusts your like Windows volume. Even if you turn the auto-adjust off, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. We can do it on Discord if anyone wants to talk on Discord. But at this time, I don't even want to talk to Ben uh, because he's not going to give us anything of importance. Google meeting to discuss. If this is of no interest, and that is fine. As I'm not sure if this is YouTube worthy. I will put up the eBay listing, albeit I'm seriously considering keeping these cards rather than selling. Kind as regards Ben. So maybe looking to promote the cards. Again, guys, don't touch these things until... If they release them, if they did print them, um, there's a chance that they are going to actually officially release them at some point in time. Um, and maybe you just have some people that are trying to capitalize on that because they might know uh, if they were stolen and the other ones are sitting around, there's a chance that they get given out at some other um, at some other time. At, at this point, and uh, there's nothing been said. There's nothing been released. I don't think they're coming. Again, the cards are dead to me. They should be dead to everyone that is has any sort of integrity. Um, you shouldn't be wanting to buy stolen cards. Whether you think people are going to find out, whether it's the only option uh, ever. If they never come out with the, the a legitimate way to obtain these, it, it shouldn't be something that's sought after. Because it's sketchy. It's sketchy, and it encourages all the wrong things. All the things that basically... Um, go against what the channel is about here. So that's where I kind of have a doubt here where Ben's going to claim that he's a, uh, a, a follower of the channel, loves the content, because a large portion of the content on the channel here is about theft and how it's wrong and how it affects everyone involved. That you shouldn't be buying stolen stuff because that's the reason why stuff is being stolen. If there's no market for it, if there's no additional value for any stolen things, if no one wants to buy them, there's way less incentive for people to actually steal them to begin with. Ben Strong says, I don't want to go in too much detail. If there's a video here for Rattle, there may be one for him, one not. I'm happy to share the story, but as with everything in life, it has to be right. So there's more messages than this in the Discord general chat. We're not going to go through all of them because he had a hefty discussion and got everyone worked up uh, in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. Uh, it's the, the best way to get in contact with me. If you're just on there to shill some, some stolen cards, and clearly it's not going to work out for you. That's look. That's kind of what it looks like here. So Ben says, if it's worth a video, then that's no trouble. I don't know if it's worth its time, etc. Of course, I'm happy to. But would want to chat with the content creator as I maybe have a story worth telling. So you see here, I, I, 
I get the impression he wants to tell a story. I guess we should be reading them from bottom to top as well, because it's in the history. I would appreciate not getting doxxed over this, if possible. Like I say, I'm happy to discuss if there's a video to be made for the benefit of Rattle's channel and viewers. I enjoy his content, and that, that why I came here. I would not be here if I if they were not genuine or acquired improperly. So that's the thing. The, the, the whole thing about it, I don't give a crap if you bought some from somebody in the UK that obtained them in a, in a sketchy manner. That's not a story to me. We already covered that. We already covered the fact that CGC should not have been grading them, that they shouldn't be for sale on eBay. eBay should also be cracking down on that and not allow them for sale on there. Um, but we know the, the issues with eBay. They have a hard enough time getting rid of stuff that is clearly a scam, let alone stuff that they need some sort of hobby knowledge in order to uh, to cleanse from their, their platform. Ben says, if Rattle wants to jump on a Zoom call, I'm happy to discuss if this is something he wants to showcase on his channel. I want to be in a video to show the cards and how cool they are, and I'm happy to discuss how I have them, but that's pretty much a non-story. No, that's the entire, that's the story. I want the story. I don't want to see how cool they are. They're the same. I have the same ones. I have the same pre-release promos. They just don't have staff on them because I got mine from building battles instead of sketchy stolen people. There's literally no reason why I should relay all this to anyone other than someone who can make a story from it and has a platform. So can you guys see here, the incentive is looking a whole lot like, hey, I'm going to sell these. I want to advertise them. Again, don't touch them. Don't touch them, guys. Not only is it just a bad idea and the fact that like, if they do get released officially someday, they're going to tank very hard. But also the fact that you don't want to... Don't reward people that steal or that purchase stolen crap. That's the biggest thing here. Ben says, everything is stolen in your head tab. They're not unreleased. More will come to light over the next few weeks as they only arrived last week. And they only they only arrived last week, and it's at that specific store that you got it from. They didn't arrive last week. They were available prior to that, as we saw from the eBay listings, as we saw from the... I can't even remember how long ago the video was that I made about CGC grading them. They've been out for a long time. They've been very stolen, or... At that point in time, when CGC was grading them, Pokemon came out with a statement. So, so we know that at least some were obtained in non-official ways. So who's to think that like all of a sudden now with zero evidence, they're now the game stores are getting, but they're, the game stores are not willing to put their name on it. And the people that, that got them from said pretend game stores or maybe game stores, but they don't want to say where, what it is. I've DM the boss man and he has the info. There is no big story here. They are genuine and sent direct from Pokemon. No more to it than that. There is more to it than that. If, if there was not really much more to it than that, then you would have proof that that's how it happened. That's the most important factor here. I don't give a crap if you think they're cool. I don't give a crap if you think um, that, that they're obtained legitimately. I have a, I, I don't think any of them actually believe uh, this. Again, again, he's just trying to chill his crap. All right. Now, where are we at? Hey, mate, I seem to be causing a bit of a stir in the general chat. You may want to have a little look in there. Happy to discuss and have a Zoom call if you want. No problems if this is not of interest to you. Regards, Ben. Uh, and I offer, I said, we can do a call on here if you want. Zoom kind of sucks. Can you send me a rundown of where you got them, etc.? And what sort of availability you have over the next couple days. So that's the thing, too. Like, if someone's just like, I, I have people all the time that are like, Hey, can I, can I hop on a call with you? I have the hottest new dick story of all time. And I need to share it with you. I need to know what you're going to tell me beforehand because I need to know that you're not wasting my time. If, if someone has something that I need to hear and you can give me a little rundown of what's going on and you want to do it over a call, you're welcome to do so. But I got to know what it is beforehand. If it's just, this was a huge waste of my time. I mean, I guess it's not a huge waste of my time because it just goes to further prove that th these things were not released in any official manner. Hey, the general chat is so funny. I have Never called on Discord before. I'm a noob, but happy to give it a try. FYI, I'm a bit of a fan of your content, so I know what I'm getting myself into, but there's no good guy, bad guy story here with them. I wanted to show the cards themselves to the community and that they do exist. And and I say, unless there are a ton of receipts, people aren't going to believe they aren't obtained by shady means, and rightfully so. 
Ben says, I get that, but there is much more we can discuss on a call rather than over messages. They get misread, etc. It's a cool video idea. They are cool cards, and I'm happy to share the little info that I have on these and share it with the community. Uh, and I say I don't need the full story and messages. Would just like to know what I'm expecting. He says, if you want to check my username, it's Benjamin on YouTube. I don't have a channel, but you should see I have been subbed for some time. I'm using my real name, so I'm not concerned with any allegations or illegal activity. Honestly, mate, I'm not a huge, not a huge amount, really. I'm happy to show you the cards. I, the cards live. I will keep the sealed and discuss how they were obtained. If you want to make a video out of it, then great. We can discuss that if it's an option. The story of how they came about isn't that exciting as the cards themselves. No, the cards are not exciting. The cards themselves are not exciting. Uh, the story behind it, how they were obtained, if there was some legitimate way or if there was some illegitimate way, the story behind it is the most exciting part. I think, every, would you guys agree? Would you? Let me know down in the comments if you do. Um, I think I think it's a pretty solid, um, pretty solid. Yes, that's that's what we want to know here. It's not important that they exist. Well, I mean, it's kind of important that they exist, but we already knew they existed. We want to know where and how they were obtained. And if you can't tell me that, I have a hard hard doubt. So. I say I don't care about the cards as much as I do the method for which they were obtained. We can chat today if you're available. Ben says I get the I get it. The story behind them is more of the story. My angle is the cards themselves are pretty cool and rare and hadn't really been seen before. They have been. They have been seen. We've seen them. They've been online. They've been for sale for quite some time now from the UK. Not official. And at that point, the Pokemon company made a statement. They made a statement to PSA so that PSA would not grade them that there was no legitimate way to obtain these cards. That's it. That's all we have at this point in time. Is the Pokemon company going to make a statement? Is there proof? Is there a game store that's going to put their name on the line and say, hey, we did receive these from the Pokemon company directly? Uh, if they had nothing to hide, they would have no problem doing so. They're official, obtained, and sent through official channels, so there's no story to be had. Okay, so show me that. There's been three listings of these now. Yeah, there have been for a while. There was Chilling Rain ones that came out at the same time from the same place, from and it's been ages. That that was like back when Chilling... Was it back when Chilling Rain came out? It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago when they were popping up. Either way, we have decided to keep them since this next listing has gone up. Now you're keeping them, now you're not selling them, but you were trying to show them off, but don't want to give the backstory on it, but you want to give a backstory, but you don't want to prove the backstory. I can't do that. We're not going to do that. And I'm throwing hard doubt here, Ben. Hard doubt. Ben says, thanks for the messages back and forth. Those cards have hit card stores around the UK just last week. And direct from Pokemon, my friend does not want to be named. So I was happy to go public with them with the eBay listing and possibly promoting them through your audience. All the best. So make up your mind. Are you selling them? You're not selling them? You're definitely selling them. Uh, and no, you don't have any proof. If you can't even say who you bought them from, um, then, then no, you're, you're, I think you're full of crap. I think your friend's full of crap. Maybe you're believing your friend. Um, but I'm, I'm here to tell you that if there's any reason, there's no, there's no reason to hide the provenance behind the cards if they were obtained legitimately. Hopefully this is a learning lesson for everyone. Hope, I don't know what the new trend is here where everyone and their dog is just spreading the most stupid misinformation of all time on, especially TikTok. But now with, with this stuff, uh, with with stuff that was stolen, not stolen. Um, do just do the do the research, do the research. At least have the receipts if you're going to make any kind of statements on this stuff. Um, I think in this case, the lack of lack of real receipts, the lack of evidence that these were obtained in any legitimate manner, Pokemon statement, PSA not grading them, the whole thing. That I don't I I'm speechless. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Join the Discord. See you next time. Love you guys. Bye.